Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Leadworks Engine tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we're going to cover how to use the level editor that is included with Leadworks as well as scripting and eventually we're going to create our own game from scratch. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're not going to use the default folder that you have installed Leadworks to. Uh, we're actually just going to create a new folder and before we do that I should also mention that these tutorial series should work with the trial. However, I make no promises that it will. Uh, since the latest version is 2.4 and the trial is 0.3. Um, however, they should still work. Um, so right click, new, folder, and you can put this folder anywhere you like. I'm just going to put it on my desktop because as you can see it's clean and it is actually always this clean that's why I have a desktop folder because it all goes in there and I'm just gonna call this Leadwork tutorial series all right going to open that up all right now we need a few things in order to create a base template in order to just use Lua um, Lua can also be used inside the level editor but we'll cover that later uh, we're gonna need the scripts folder the UI folder, both the engine DLLs, the engine executables, the joint library, LUAC, Networks, Newton, Scintilla plugin, the script editor.exe, and the shaders.pack. And we're just going to copy paste all that over. All right. So now we have created a base folder, and we could actually begin creating our entire game right now um, without any of the other tools. However, some of the other stuff is kind of useful and nice to use, but you don't have to. Okay, so we're just going to double click on our script editor here, and I'm going to create a multi line comment for our header. And this is basically used to say what this source file covers. And I'm going to call this tutorial series 1 dash getting started with Lua inside of Leadworks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to register the abstract path. So register, oops, I would stop failing with English here. Abstract path. Um, this is used if you know the name of a file, but you don't know the location. Rather, not that you don't know the location, you don't want to input the location. Uh, I generally still tell it where everything is uh, out of force of habit. Um, but you don't have to, you just need to know the file name. All right, next we need to create a graphics window. And you can make this window any resolution you would like. I'm going to set mine at the standard 1024 by 768. Next, we are going to create a framework object so we can actually use the framework. Uh, the framework is built in with Lua, uh, however you can use it with Blitzmax, uh, I believe C++, C Sharp. I think it's supported on most of the languages that Leadwork supports, but I am not sure. But I do know it's supported by Lua, so we're going to use it. Create a framework object. Would be also useful if I could spell that correctly. All right, so we're just going to call this FW, you can call it whatever you like, and then create framework. All right, next we're going to need a camera, so create a camera, so camera equals fw.main.camera. Uh, we'll cover more of the framework and its features as we go along. All right, so now we just need a main loop. So while app terminate equals zero, do flip. Uh, we need the flip, otherwise we won't be able to draw our graphics. Um, you can put a zero in here, and then it'll run uncapped, and I'm just going to do that just to see how fast it goes while I'm recording. Then end. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to update and render. Um, Thankfully, we can do this very easily with the framework. So FW update and then FW 
render. All right. So now, um, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Save as. I'm going to call this tutorial one. Dot Lua and save. Okay. And then now we can hit the play button, and we should just get a window. All right. So here we go. Um, there we have it. We have just created a very basic window, not too fancy, but it's a very nice start. All right, so it's going to hit the X in the corner to close out of it. All right, now under update and render, let's draw some some text and let's have it say whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna let's see draw text that says hello. Works window, draw text. All right, first we'll need our string and then the x and y coordinates. Low Ledworks window. Let's see, we can put this at 200 by 120. Then we hit F5. Oops, that was my bad. I forgot to close that off. There we go. Yay, and there we have it. Hello, Ludworks window. Um, optionally, we could also attach this to our mouse by changing the X and Y coordinates to mouse X and mouse Y. However, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and there will be many more. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to stop by the Ludworks forum if you have a question. They're very helpful over there. Um, I do believe you will need a registered account uh, as well. You could also stop by my form and I will help as well. As well, you can also follow me on Twitter and keep up to date of when I'll be doing new tutorials. And I also have an IRC, so you can join the IRC and talk to me pretty much anytime you would like. All right. Thank you and see you in part two.